Hey folks and welcome back to the mountain. Um, I don't do a lot of these but I thought I would do an unboxing on this uh, little Furman generator here. 2000 uh, peak 1600 continuous watt. Um, we're going to be using this for a project we got coming up. Um, we looked at uh, generators in this class and this uh, is on sale so it was the best cost. It's got a lot of great reviews so we're going to go ahead and open this thing up and show you. All right, you'll see my dog already started to open it. She wanted to help out. It did not come like this. It's not the shipping company's problem. This is my dog. We'll go ahead and open her up, see how it's packaged. We got some instructions here, more instructions. We got some oil. 12.9 fluid ounces, which is exactly what it takes. We've got a funnel. Um, we've got a 30 amp adapter for a camper, spark plug tool, and a multi bit screwdriver. And a parallel cord for if you want to do multiple generators together, you can run them in parallel. And then we have the generator itself. And there is nothing else in the box. As you can see, it's not that heavy. So we'll go ahead and put it up on the table and show it to you. All right, here's the generator itself. It's a 30 amp jack uh, plug. We also showed you it has the adapter you plug in there, and then you can plug that into a camper. Uh, regular 120 outlet, 20 amp. Choke. It's got what's called an eco mode. We'll show you that in a bit. On off, on off for the gas. Um, let's see, it's got a USB charging port. I didn't know it would have that. Um, and then the parallel to run to another generator, the start cord. Gas goes in up here, of course. And then in the back, we got the engine in here. We'll take that off and show you. Okay, to get the back off, you have these five screws here. And the pop, the back pops out somehow. We'll just grab hold of it somewhere. I don't know where. Wow, that's a pain. There we go. Just grab it from the louvers here and it'll pop out, maybe. There we go. <laughs> All right, a little bit of insulation for the engine. And there's the engine right here. The spark plug's under here. You have to lift this up. Wow, maybe. Take that off, the spark plug's right back in there. If you can see in that, you would have to take the connector off and then use that special tool to get that out. All right, we'll put this back on since we're not doing anything with that. Maybe, wow, how's that go? Oh, it just slides in like that. Okay, so the engine, we're gonna have to put oil in. They don't put any oil in it, of course. Or maybe they do. Not, no oil in there, so we're gonna have to put oil in it. Luckily, it comes with a funnel just for that. Funnel, put it right in there and we can dump in the oil. Dump in the 12.9 ounces of oil. Okay. All right, 12.9 ounces of oil. We'll 
put the uh, cover back on. Okay, now we have to add some gas. All right, this is a four stroke engine, so it just takes normal gas. You don't have to mix it with anything. It only holds nine tenths of a gallon. And I'll show you inside the filler neck there. It's got, where is it? It's got a nice screen in there to get out the gunk. The cap itself has on off for venting. So we'll go ahead and put some gas in there. Trying not to spill all over the place. I'm not very good at that. I could use a funnel, but why? Why not just make a mess everywhere like I'm doing? All right, so now full of gas. Maybe, maybe even a little over full. Put that on. We're gonna turn the vent to on. I'm gonna go ahead and put this cover back on. I think we're all set back here. Oop, goes on this way. There's a little tab here. Slides in the slot right there. I'm only gonna put it on with a couple screws, just in case. Okay, now before I turn it on, I'm gonna pull this a couple times and get some uh, get some oil flowing through it. So we're gonna turn the gas to on. We're gonna turn the switch to on and see what happens. But we'll pull the choke out. on. Gas is on. Hmm, not sure yet. I'm going to set it down on the ground, make it easier for myself. Okay, so there we go. Sounds like she wants to catch. There it is. And that's it. It's running. So it started a little harder than I wanted, but maybe just the gas had to flow into it. It's running pretty good. That's that eco mode. We're going to let it run for a few minutes, just to kind of break in 10-15 minutes, and then we're going to try putting uh, magnet stuff onto it. So we're just going to let it run for a bit. Alright, so we ran this a little bit. I shut it down. Everything seems to be really good in it. Um, it is pretty lightweight. I like that. Um, what I've got here is I've got a 1200 watt heat gun. A Milwaukee heat gun. We're going to plug this in. This is 1600 continuous and 2000 peak. So since I just had it running, it should fire up pretty good. Oh, pull the choke. Sorry. Fires up. Come up. So what we can do is just plug this in. Got a high and a low. I'm gonna put it on high. That's a 1200 watt. And you can hear it kick down. I'll turn it off. Hear a little bit of waver. Now this has an eco mode, an economy mode, so it'll just idle till it feels a load. It's much quieter. When you turn this on, it'll kick up.
started off and it goes back down to the idle. I like that feature a lot actually. My big generators don't do that. So I really like that. Um, I like that it comes with the adapter to use on a camper. So you get your normal 30 amp plug and then the adapter to use on a camper as well. So, which will really come in handy in an upcoming project. Wink, wink. Um, and like I said, it's also got a uh, spark plug tool. Put your rod in there, give your leverage to open the spark plug. And a oh, little cheapy multi-bit screwdriver. Um, Furman is an American company, however, this is made in China. But for the price wise, you can buy like three of these, three or four of these, for the price, three or four of these for the same price as the equivalent Honda. Um, and it's really not that much louder than the Honda. For longevity, longevity, we will find out about this to find out, you know, if it lasts as long. I don't know. So far, I like it. It's a handy little unit. Um, yeah. So far, I like it. Oh, I left it in economy mode. So one of the reasons for this is to run our little mini compressor. So I just want to see how good it does running the compressor. Let's turn it on. Runs much better that way. Now, see what it does. Wow, like nothing. Put it on eco mode and see how much it kicks up. Okay, that was a non issue. That is a non-issue for running that. Um, one of the things I like to do, though, with equipment like this, is I like to I like to shut the gas off and let it run out of the carburetor to drain the carburetor. That way, if it sits for a couple months, I don't get gummed up. So let's fire this up and try that. We'll shut the gas off. Let's just see how long it takes to shut down. All right, so that took actually just under two minutes. So not bad at all. Um, it's just a good idea. That way you don't get a bunch of gas in the carb if it sits for a while. Um, we're gonna be using this in a couple days. You'll see it in an upcoming video and probably quite a few videos after that. Um, all in all, I really like this little thing. So yeah, for the most part, I like it. Um, we're gonna be putting it through its paces in the next bit. Mm. Let's put this back back on. Well, the back is on. I'm just putting these remaining screws in. Um, I'm not sure about that, cause, about the back here, because you got to take it off just to check the oil. All right, so. But it's a nice, handy little package. It's small. It's light. It's going to work great for what we want it for. Um, for when we don't need one of our big generators. to hook, we, we got a 7,500 and a 10,000. And we don't have to pull them out. This works really good. It's be good for that. And it's nice and quiet so we can bring it out in the woods and run it if we're building stuff out in the woods. Hint, hint. Um, so once again, Furman W2000i. Um, it's actually the part number is W01682 is the part number. Um, I w This was purchased. This wasn't given to us. We don't do any of that on this channel yet. We're kind of little still, so we don't do any of that. No, nobody sends us stuff. Trust me, we buy everything. Um, so we're gonna uh, put it through its paces, and you'll see that. So, you know, hey, if you like what you're seeing, subscribe to our channel. 
Leave us a comment. And as always, folks, God bless.